Oh, I pedaled to stay put. That would have been much easier. Guns and Roses. Mr. Brownstone. And uh, this is for my Skype student, Jim. And you want a tuna half step. Tuna. It's a type of a fish. Comes in a can. You got to try it. Anyways, using a Walla pedal. Um, a little bit of reverb. And the beginning, there's actually a flanger going with, it's more of a flange than a wah, but um, you want to do what's called fret hand muting. I'm Mike Gross, by the way. Did I say that? I didn't. RockingGuitarLessons.com. You know it. So here's what we're going to do. To try to emulate a little bit of that flange that's going on, but it's just fret hand muting. And to do that, you just... Um, set four fingers is typically the best way for a solid mute leaves less chance for accidentally hitting a harmonic and stuff and it's just percussive you know you're you're strumming down and up you don't want to hear any notes um, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that part because um, I want to get into the meat of the lesson, and I don't want to make this a two-part video. So um, most people are dying to get into that that main groove, funky, Aerosmith, sleazy, blues, rock, in-your-face riff. You know the part I'm talking about. And then there's this uh, 12th fret on the low E slide, alternate picking, and you just want to time it, you know. Actually, it's faster than that. It's like a... Or, it's like a measure worth, like one, two, three, four. Hit an open and then work your way halfway back up. And then uh, kicking off the wall of pedal so we can get into this part. It's that part. Alright, so um, really fun riff to play, man. You want to go open E. Then the third fret E, middle finger, hammer to the th uh, fourth fret, and then two A, pull off to open. We have, and then an open E again, and then we're gonna do the hammer on again, three to four on the E. So. Oops. twice um, when that open E it's actually a uh, power chord so you're gonna catch the two on the A string with it right there Oops. and then catch the three E hammer to four again and then an open A, second fret D power chord, hit them together. So think of it this way, every time you're on the third fret on the low E, you're doing that hammer onto the fourth fret, all right? Now, Slash does a few different variations of this. The first one is... That'll be 3B and 2B. Set them both down, pick, pull, pull, and then pick the open B. It's kind of tricky. Then go 2G, pull off to open, and then pick the open G. So. Then 2D, pull to open. Same thing on the A. 2A, pull to open. So. And then 3E, hammer to 4. And like I said, every time, man, that we do that third fret, we hammer to 4. So. And then uh, E power chord, technically it's an E flat 5, but in this tuning. But uh, anyways, open E, 2A. That's how you finish that. Alright, and then um, you start it over. From the... Or, but the second time, you're just going to go... 
Now you gotta remember, Izzy was playing too, and I wanna explain something in a second as to what's going on behind some of these. So um, the second one is... So after you get through the funky groove riff, Now we're gonna go to this. It's a D chord minus the F sharp note. It's 2G, 3B, and open D. So we'll go open A, 2D after that as a power chord. And then 2A, and then 3E. This time we're not hammering. We're gonna pick and, and bend it like. Now that's one time that we won't hammer to the fourth fret. So you'd have. And you can hear the other guitar, which would, I'm assuming would be Izzy, hitting a power chord on that and slash playing the single note there. So then you're back to the hook, the groove, into these. Now the ending of this one, there's a, a variation. And then catch the 2D instead of the, the power chord. You follow me? Oops. While that's being played, here's what I wanted to explain about the second guitar track. The other guitar, while Slash is going... is going... So we're not going to learn that, we're just going to keep the... Oops. Okay, then you start it over again. And then you do this again. And then it's a different ending, all right? Instead of going, it'll be to the E5 power chord, third fret. It's like a quarter step bend into the open E 2A. And then, that wraps up that part. Then we're gonna go, uh, the wallet pedal kicks in. It's really a percussive riff he's going so what i would suggest is get the beat and the notes placed right in other words we're going to go 7a i'm going to shut the wawa pedal off for a second and you want to go almost like the hand jive so 7A, and then 5-7 on the D, and then you reverse that basically, you go 7-7-7-5-7. Seven, 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 seven. So that's 7-7-7 seven, seven, seven on the D, 5-D, 7-A. There's your loop, that's going to repeat. Um, there's some percussiveness to it. In other words, instead of just going... Matter of fact, it's it's really a feel thing. You can hear slash slide on one of them, like. But um, you know, just you want to get the the percussive part of it that I'm talking about is like this. And what I'm doing is muting in between the notes. So if you get the note beats right. Fill that in, you would have this. Um, and to, to achieve that, it's the fret hand muting concept. Of I'm lifting the pressure up, and I don't know that you can necessarily see my finger lifting, but it is. Watch my pick hand. Slow it down. It's really more of a feel thing, and it's not consistently played exactly like that. So I wanted, I'm just giving you the basic idea of it and see if you can get it together. It's, it's really like a pocket funk type feel more than anything. Like, you remember the song on Ace Freely from Kiss, the solo album that he did, and there was a song called Back in the New York Groove? He kind of does that same type of, you know, it's like... 
Actually, I think he has a lava pill too. He's like. In the back of my Cadillac. Coke. The choice of a new generation, and it's got freaking cat hair on it. The heck, man. Cheers. All right, so that's that part. He goes back into the. back into this again. So let's do that. 3E, 5A. You can catch the octave on there if you want. The fifth fret on the D. Most people that play power chords do that. Most of the time, you know, except for certain songs like Rocky Like a Hurricane, you're just playing a root fifth, you can hear it clear as day. This is a little more of the, you know, the blues rock, you know, a little kind of sloppy fuller on the chords, if that makes any sense. Three, five, five. To one, three, three, back to three, five, five. And then if you listen close, there's a fret hand mute. The thing is, let me explain for a second on the blues rock sloppish type thing. It's a cool thing, it's not a bad thing. But with uh, G and R, there's two guitar players, right, on this, Izzy and Slash. And they're not always playing things exactly the same. They may be playing basically the same chords, but one might be doing a in between things and the other guy may not. So uh, stuff like this is hard sometimes to put through a microscope unless we're doing exact, here's what this dude's doing, and then here's what the other guy's doing. So you'll hear a fret hand mute, which once again, just lightly lay the fingers over the strings. And that'll be 355 on the A, D, and G. I'm gonna practice that doing the muting, and I'm also muting underneath the low E so we don't run into this problem. You wanna silence that. Then move that to the 133, three, back to 355. So. Same concept here 577. To 355, back to 577. That's on A, D, and G. Me up. And that will be 5A, 4D, 5D, 6D, and then 7D hammer to 9. And then 7G hammer to 9. It's like paranoid. Right? So. And you'll have to listen to the beat on that because it's not just. It's. You gotta rest after that third note. Then this part, another feel thing. It's like funk. So we have. You'll go into an open E. It might be easier for you to hear without the wall. So, yeah, I'm going to keep the wall pedal off. It'll be a little easier for you to understand what's happening. So, you're going to hit the 7A after that open E. Palm, or fret hand mute once on the A. Hit the 7A again. And then two fret handed mutes on the A. So you have. And then hit the note again, 7A. So, kind of getting the idea? So then you'll fret hand mute and then hit another 7A. And that's the loop, basically. Then you'll go 7E, 5A, and then 7A. Then you're going to repeat it from the open E. It's tricky, man. Ask my student Jim. It's a tough part. So you have. <coughs> if you throw the wah-wah pedal on it, you work it like a gas pedal. 
You'd, you'd accent those seven A's. In other words, or wait, see. So you're gonna go three times, and then um, you'll go seven five A, and then four two on the A. So, but you will lead into that with the seven E, five A, and then seven A. So, so in reality, you'll be hitting the seven A twice, right? Five A, four two A. Three four on the E, no hammer, and then open E twice. And then let's do one more part. Anyways, this last part. Take the wah off, we're gonna, for now. Uh, another feel thing, seven E, nine A, and nine D. Actually, this one might be a straight up power chord, seven E, five A, then fret hand mute those two strings, so. And then five, seven E, A. Catch that with an up. And then two fretheads mutes. And then two more fretheads mutes after you go back to the 7 9 EA. So your chords are this. And then we'll go 5A hammer to 6, and then 7E. If you get that solidified, you can fill in the fret hand muting. Now watch it with the fret hand muting. And then you do the same thing, a whole step flat. 5-7, 3-5, five, 5-7, seven, five, five, seven, same strings. And then 3-A hammer to 4, and then 5-E. So you have... Fill the wah wah pedal and you can catch the mutes in between. Anyways, pretty cool riff, huh? All that. My favorite one is. It. my back hurts I don't know if you guys know I broke my back back in March my L2 got my MRI done and uh, got something wrong with the L5 like the little in-between thing is like right next to a nerve and I've been feeling pretty good but uh, tonight it's kind of hurting anyways there you go Guns N' Roses with Mr. Brownstone I remember when this came out and Guns N' Roses really shook the music industry big time um, I think this is their best album personally. It's full of hit after hit. Slash, very creative man. Great player. Um, remember, we're tuned flat for this. If you want to play along with GNR on it. And uh, my email, mike at rockinguitarlessons.com if you'd like to email me about anything. Um, be sure to subscribe to both channels. I got youtube.com slash rockinguitarlessons1 and youtube.com slash rockinmikegross. I even have a rockinguitarlessons2. Just haven't been able to access it. I don't know what's going on with it. Um, if you're interested in some private lessons, I'll make it brief here. I teach guitar and bass on the internet. Been doing it for two years now, but I've been teaching for over two decades. Um, full time. Private lessons, group lessons, guitar and bass, and my wife um, is a vocal instructor. Um, you can contact me through email. You know there's several sources to reach me. My Skype name is Rock and Guitar Lessons. 
rock or rock in, you know like the website R O C K I N guitar lessons. Speaking of that, all the information for the if you're interested in taking lessons can be found at rockinguitarlessons.com under the Skype lessons tab. There's a tutorial from me and my lovely wife Jolene, and we explain how it works. All the details are actually printed on the website, and we discuss it in the tutorial. Um, the prices, the rates, all that stuff, the discounts for paying for the month. Typically, they're um, an hour once a week or a half hour once a week is how most people do them. And I also offer what's called CBT lessons. You can find that on the website too. It's, if you have a hard time doing a set day, set time for lessons, you can. Uh, what I do is charge the Skype rate, and it's fifty-nine dollars per hour. I handwrite the tabs for you, figure it out by ear, timestamp everything, scan them, send them to your email, and then I record a video in detail and they're very effective I have a lot of regulars that are doing the CBT lessons and they're customs you know you get uh, you know just having the video you can only learn bits and pieces but when you have everything just and you can let me know you want guitar one guitar two all the guitars just the solos or everything you know in the song so they're pretty cool uh, make sure to fill out the contact information over at rockinguitarlessons.com we will be doing giveaways in the future and I'm talking guitars, basses, effect pedals, strings just different you know accessory stuff and um, not sure exactly when that's going to start but if you're on our email list at the website you'll be informed we send out um, I don't know if it's monthly or bi-monthly uh, newsletters I think it's twice a month something like that but that'll keep you informed on what's going on 